Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics Part 2 with me, Jelani. Uh, last time we finished up the tutorial battle of the game and started Chapter 1, so let's hop right on to it, shall we? Uh, hold on, let me figure out how to play this game again. Yep, there we go. Prince Larg is our leader of this part of the country, our Ivalice. The Marquis is from a neighboring realm. And the Hokuto Knights are the, um, the um, top knights in our realm. The Nathan Knights are the top knights in Goltana. Goltana leads the um, enemy. A gang of tortured thieves, that's great. <laughs> uh, no, wait, uh. yeah, I'm just gonna be using the um quick save and quick load, so I wouldn't really need need to switch memory card. All right, this is the um front. Oh, nope, don't want to have shams of just in there by himself. Alright, this is the beginning tile when you um, place your units and go into battle. It's really difficult, to, you see that little yellow arrow? That's really the only context for the map you have, that's going to be the direction you're pointing in. You have no other context of what's going to be in the area or how it's going to lay out, what terrain it is, so they just want you to jump right in there. Alright, tease it. Oh. I got some pretty good starting characters. Okay, to give you just the um, generic starting characters that you get to use, um, it's sometimes nice to name them, but I mean, not name them. Fire these ones and get others to name them, but yeah, I don't think I'll be doing that this time. Uh, it also occurs to me that I um, skipped some. St well, I was so panicked about nearly losing the tutorial fight, I don't know how that happened, that um, I forgot to mention some stuff, so I'm going to be trying to get to that here as well. Whoa, alright. Alright, now Delita is a guest, that means we have no control over him like you saw with pretty much with everyone else in the tutorial fight, but in here I have control over majority of the characters besides him, he's just kind of off doing his own thing, which is sometimes good, but preferably I would like to have all, um, all uh, my allies under my control, because it's better to have a, um, wow these enemies are really fast. Um, I think it's better to have everyone under the um, same mindset in a um, group uh, in a tactical game. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, all right. You, you can see that character. I just moved him. I didn't um, do anything else. So he'll be getting his turn a little bit faster when you move and. Um, when you move or don't act or act and don't move, your CT gauge fills up. To, uh, start it starts to fill up at 20. 
Um, and if you don't move or don't act, you um, CT gauge resets itself at 40. So you get to turn your next turn a little bit faster, but at the cost of not being able to do anything. The Beowulf. <laughs> Die in obscurity. I love it. Limited camera control here. Uh, no. Just move the chemist up here in the center so that you can port both. Doesn't seem like. Actually, let's see where's the leader at. Yeah, he's good for one more hit. Oh. Alright. Have her in the center. Alright. You can see HP. That's when that goes down to zero. Your character is. um, Your character dies. And then. You have three times the first CT gauge filling up three of her turns to get her up, otherwise she's gone. The character's gone forever. She'll turn into a crystal where you can get HP or an MP, HP slash MP all regained, or an item that she'll be that she uh, has equipped it. MP is just um, for magic and other type of special, well, just magic attacks really. And if that goes down, it's no real consequence. You just can't do any of that anymore. You can still have the physical and attack. And um, CT is clock ticks that determined that's determined by your speed. She has a speed of six, so each turn it will be going up to uh, up by six. And that determines when you oh, that was kind of sucky that he just missed that. And he left the chemist exposed. Thank you, Delita. And he's going to heal this. No, no, I don't know what that chemist is going to do. I thought he was going to heal the squire. Oh goodness, just a moment. All right, and continue like you didn't hear ringing in the background. <laughs> Huzzah! All right, none of our characters have throw stone, which is the squire's long range ability. Everyone seems to be pretty okay so far. Well, no, besides her, but she's not on my team, so I could care less. I think I'll just have her move back and help out Delita, even though he didn't help her out. Actually, I'm not sure if I can do it. Yep. Chemists have this weird ability where they can um, just throw items a long range. It's pretty um, helpful early on. Sorry about that. I need to change something in the back window. There's no way she's going to be able to hit me. Um, yeah, very limited camera control here. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, oh, tease it. That was surprisingly difficult, everyone. It's going to hit and run. Yep. Gotta go for the guaranteed kill. Even if it means putting Ramza in considerable danger of going behind enemy lines. Oh, she needs help now. Kinda wish I hadn't used the chemist to heal the leader. That chemist, he doesn't have any weapons, that's great. Uh, Alright. Uh -huh. Vita, get in there and help. Oh, 
That's actually useful of you. Um, Delita and Rams are the only ones who have the Guts ability, which is a special type of Squire ability. And that, w that was a wish. Um, it, take, it restores your um, allies HP at the cost of half of it. And you take, I mean, you take half of it as damage. Sorry for that um, spotty explanation there. Yeah, so it's kind of, it's really useful early on. And now she doesn't really need that much um, support, so I can't do anything now. Oh well. Whoa. Holy frame rate. Here comes Rum to the save today. Just kidding. That squire has not put himself in a good position. Really? Why? Oh, that's fine, alright. He positioned himself better to he can be healed. It's actually a good move. I take back my questioning. Run away! Oh, okay. Delete a for the kill. Alright, and. Is there a way? Nope, there's no way we can make sure this chemist doesn't run away, so. Yeah, this guy is pretty much. Oh, toast. It's gonna retreat? Yeah. Oh, well, um, I can't see anything. Doesn't help. I forgot what my commands here were. Yeah, that's an example of Basilia compatibility. You saw how he was doing 20 damage to other people and he can only do 12 to this one chemist? Yeah, that's not good. Got him. Alright, so now they get to go help over here. Can you throw a stone? Nope, no one can throw a stone. Seems like such a simple ability to have. And this is what he's going to be doing for the rest of the battle. Just, you know, healing himself and he's going to count in the corner somewhere, I believe. Yep. Delete a kill. Oh, please kill him. God. <laughs> oh, that's really inconvenient. Does Ramza have? Nope. All right. You know what, I'm just going to do something to get some job points here. She didn't need it, but... Uh, Ramza got a job level up. It doesn't really give you any um, stat boost, it just means that he's better at being a specific job, in this case, a squire. I keep checking that. I've already checked everyone. I'm not sure if I... Should. Yeah. No one has throw stone, and that's really inconvenient right now. Battle could be over. Wow. 
Wow. He's gonna heal himself and run up on that roof. Delita, get up there. Alright. So we can kill him if we land a hit. Alright, yeah, see, her turns were up and she became a crystal. We can take that crystal and either get an ability or get all our HP back. But I'm not sure if I want to give him the chance to... God! <laughs> That's my luck. Get ability? Antidote. Um, Alright. Why not? Um, probably should have just went for the hit there, and it's my fault. There's no one to blame but myself. I'm not gonna have her go for the uh, critical for the sheer fact that she doesn't need to know any squire abilities. It's pretty much over after um, Delita gets the next hit in. Well, after Delita and another squire does. Oh, please dash. I wanna see if he'll fall. Nope, he's just going for the hit. Alright. Yeah, he's not making out of this alive. Roms are for the kill. Alright, so that took longer than expected. Alright, we got 500 gil for that. I believe the, um, form, uh, how do you tax, uh, pfft, English word speak. I believe how you calculate how much money you're going to get is, um, by the sum of the enemy levels times 100. So we fought five of one, uh, NPCs and we got 500 gil. Alright, uh, that's it for this episode. I'll see you guys next time.